Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Roxy and today I will show you how to make a very beautiful jacket or cardigan. As you can see you have two options and into the video I will give you all information that you have need for the jacket and also for the cardigan. Um, I will tell you about the yarn right away. Um, the jacket is for the S size and the cardigan is for L size. So as you can see can this pattern can be adapted to any size and also you can use any type of yarn you like it. Uh, I also make the written pattern and you can find it here into the bottom in my presentation. Uh, if you like my creation, please support me and subscribe to my channel. And now let's begin. So, as you can saw in my presentation at the beginning of the video, I make a cardigan for me, a long cardigan and a jacket for my model. So, uh, this uh, cardigan or jacket can be adapted to any size. I have L size, my model has S size. The yarn that I use, it's a yarn which I buy at kilogram. Look how soft it is. And for my model, I will use also the yarn which I buy at kilogram and I use orange and white for my model. Uh, the cardigan that I make for myself, I use the crochet number 7 for the cardigan and the 6 for the edge. For my model, for the jacket, I will use the crochet number 5 millimeters. It's very important to use a soft yarn. And now, you need to know how many centimeter or inch you need for your uh, for each rectangle because this uh, cardigan or jacket has four rectangles. Two for the left to for the right. And now, how to calculate? You measure all around the body where the hips are bigger. Okay? For example, in my case, my model has 90 centimeters. So, don't matter what size you have. The measure and the calculation is make it into the same way. So, the number of centimeter or inch that you have all around the body where the hips are bigger. From this result, divide by two. And in my case, it's 45 centimeter. From this 45 centimeter, I subtract. For my model has S side and, and I subtract 10 cm. So 45 minus 10 is 35 cm. If you have L size or XL, subtract 11 or 12. For XXL, 30. For XXXL, 30 or 14 centimeter. Okay? So, one more time. Measure all around the body where the hips are bigger. The result divide by 2. From this result, subtract the number of centimeter or inch that I explained. From this result obtained, in my case, 35 centimeter, I divide by the result is 70 centimeter point 5. 
This is the number. The result obtained is the number of centimeter or inch that you need for each rectangle. Okay? So in my case, for my model, the rectangle will have 70.5 centimeter. Because look, 70.5 here, 70.5 plus 10 because here at the back we make a neck space plus 10 is 70.5 plus 70.5 is 35 plus 10 the result is 45 exactly the number that I, I obtain after I divide by 2. Okay? I hope you understand how to calculate. It's very easy and I think I explained very well. And now I will show you how to make the rectangle. I make one rectangle for the jacket for my model and look how beautiful it is and now if you want to make a cardigan you chain a multiple of five and measure at the shoulders until your leg begin so after it's finished your uh, waist begin the leg okay so chain or multiple of five at the shoulders until your leg begin for a cardigan for a jacket you also chain a multiple of five and you chain at the shoulders until your hips begin for a jacket um, in my case for my model i chain 75 and I work with the crochet number 5. Uh, for my uh, cardigan, I chain 80, but I use the crochet number 7. So, after you chain the number of stitch that you need. Very important, the number must be a multiple of 5. Yarn over, skip to 1, 2, into the third insert the crochet and make one double crochet chain one into the same stitch make three double crochet one two and chain one again and make again two double crochet one and two the chain two at the beginning of the row count as one double crochet so you have one two double crochet chain one then three double crochet chain one and two double crochet into the same stitch and now you make double crochet in every chain i will make some One more. Okay, so here into the first chain one space will be a corner, and also here into the next chain one space, the corner number two. Now you continue to make double crochet in every chain until you reach it here 
at the last chain and then I will show you how to continue. I make double crochet in every chain until I reach it at the last chain and now here you make two double crochet one and two then chain one three double crochet one two and three chain one and again two double crochet one and two now you continue to make double crochet in every stitch okay until you reach it at the last stitch I will work until here and then I will show you how to finish the row and how to begin the row number 2 I almost finish the first row and now you join with slip stitch here into the chain 2 at the beginning of the row Join with slip stitch. Make one slip stitch into the next double crochet and one slip stitch into the chain one space because every row begin and finish into the chain one space. Okay? And now we begin the row number two. Chain two count as one double crochet. Make one double crochet chain one and make again two double crochet one and two the first corner and now here you have three stitch you skip one stitch but only at this row okay so skip one stitch into the next make one from post stripper I make the front post triple like that, yarn over only one time, insert the crochet into the, for, into the front at the next stitch, pull the yarn. You will have three loops, one, two and three. Take one loop, then two loops, then two loops. And also here, don't make a double crochet, you skip and make the corner, but only here one and two chain one one and two see And now make double crochet into the next two stitch so two double crochet one and two you will have one two three four into the next stitch make one from post triple 
take one look, two looks, two looks. Double crochet into the next four stitch. In total, four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Into the next stitch, from post, triple. One loop, two loops, two loops. Okay, continue. To make four double crochet, one from post triple until you reach it at the next corner, and then I will show you how to continue. I work until I reach it at the next corner, and also make two double crochet one, two, J one, two double crochet one. And two. And now also you skip as I show you at the beginning. Skip one stitch into the next make from post triple. One loop, two loops, two loops. Skip one again and make the corn the next corner, the last corner. One, two one two double crochet one and two now make again two double crochet one and two and make again from post triple one loop, two loops, two loops. Okay? Four double crochet. One. One moment. One. Two. Three. And four. Into the next front post triple. One loop, two loops, two loops. Continue to work as I show you until you finish the row. And then I will show you how to begin the row number three. I almost finished the row number two. And join with slip stitch into the chain two at the beginning of the row make a slip stitch into the next double crochet and one slip stitch into the chain one space and now the row number two is ready row number three chain two count as one double crochet and make the corner chain one and two double crochet one and two signs now you work normally we don't skip any stitch okay so one double crochet one double crochet from post triple double crochet double crochet and now the corner two double crochet chain one two double crochet one and two Now you continue one moment please. Now you continue to work exactly as the stitch 
are so double crochet and front of zipper three and four front of triple one loop two loops two loops okay Continue all around exactly as I show you. And look, other row don't matter uh, how many chain you have you uh, make at the beginning. Uh, the row is worked exactly the same. So other row number one, two, three, four. You will make a new front post triple after you make the corner number one and number two and also before you make the corner number three and after you make the corner number four so other row number four and look, in my case I make one two three four rows with uh, the orange color at the row number five I change the color when you check if you change the color uh, finish the row with the first color join with slip stitch into the chain two make a slip knot cut and hide there and then begin with the second color from here Okay, so you begin with the first color into the first corner. And look, so I have one, two, three, four with the, with the orange, one row with white, one row with orange, one row with a white color. In total, for my model, I make seven rows. And so, other row number one, two, three, four, you will make a new front post triple and other row number so four five other no, row number six you also will make a new front post triple at the uh, long side okay because every rectangle has four sides one and two short and one and two long side and now finish the first rectangle then begin the second at the second rectangle at the last row uh, begin from here at the corner continue with the short side then the first long side and when you reach at the second short side I will show you how to join one rectangle at the second so at the last row okay I work at the last row at the rectangle until I reach it at the second short side and now it's time to join the first rectangle at the second so into the chain one space make two double crochet one and two chain one and now you take the second rectangle and make a large loop and insert the crochet here into the chain one space and pull the loop for inside now we finish the corner one double crochet okay 
Now insert the crochet into the next stitch at the first rectangle and pull the loop for inside. Double crochet at the corner. Also insert the crochet into the next stitch at the first rectangle and pull the loop for inside. In my case, here I need to make a front post triple. I make it okay, and now we also join. One more time, so at this part we join like that. Okay, continue until you reach it here at the corner. At the corner also make two double crochet and don't forget to join chain one and also join into the chain one space at the first rectangle then continue until you reach it at the end of the row then join with slip stitch cut and hide there I will make again two rectangles and also I will join them and um, also I will make one slave after I finish I will show you how to make the slave I make again two rectangles and also I join them and also I make one slave and I uh, join into uh, under a part and I make the slave and now for the slave you after you join the two rectangles you will have a very long rectangle and here where you join it is the middle of the rectangle and this uh, part where you join will be at the shoulders okay and now you measure all around your arm and the result divide by two in my case uh, this is the jacket for my model and uh, she uh, for my model I need 32 centimeter this 32 centimeter I divide by two so measure all around the arm and the result divide by two and measure from here where you join to left put a stitch marker and then count the stitch and count from here to right and also put a stitch marker you will have you must have the same number of stitch here and here and now put into the half and we begin to close at the bottom until at the stitch marker okay now we begin to join at the bottom until at the stitch marker insert the crochet into the square or into sorry into the rectangle at the corner at the right and pull the yarn then at the second rectangle also 
into the J1 space at the corner and pull there. Make two knots. One and two. And now we begin to join. Uh, here I join with back loop slip stitch. Insert the crochet into the next stitch at the back loop at one rectangle, then into the next stitch at the second rectangle at the back loop. Join with slip stitch. Into the next stitch at the back loop, into the next stitch at the second rectangle, join with slip stitch. Back loop, back loop, join with slip stitch. Back loop, back loop, join with slip stitch. One more time. Back loop, back loop, join with slip stitch. Okay? Continue to join until you reach it at the stitch marker. Also, here where you have the stitch marker, also you join. Okay? Don't cut there because we continue to make the sleeve. I finish to uh, join at the bottom until at the stitch markers. And look how beautiful it is. And now we begin the slave. Chain two, one and two. Size now, the chain two don't count as a stitch. Okay? And now uh, the first row of the slave is worked normally. Exactly as the stitch are double crochet and from post triple crochet okay all around until you reach it here at the end of the row so work all around until you reach it at the end of the row then I will show you how to finish the row and how to begin the next row. I work until I reach it at the end of the row and now you join with slip stitch here into the first double crochet that you make, not into the chain two, okay? Into the first double crochet. Join with slip stitch. And now at the next row we decrease at the beginning and at the end of the row. Chain two, one, two. Uh, because we join into the first double crochet, also after you chain two, the first stitch it is here where you join. Okay? So into the first stitch insert the crochet and make one unfinished double crochet. Yarn over and into the next stitch also make one unfinished double crochet. You will have one, two, three loops. Join them into one. And this is a decrease. Now you continue to work normally all around until uh, you have at the end of the row two stitch okay one and two and then I will show you one more time how to decrease and how to finish the row I work until I have at the end of the row two stitch and now we make again one decrease 
yak over inside the crochet into the next stitch and make one unfinished double crochet yak over again and insert the crochet into the last stitch and make one unfinished double crochet join them into one and now join with slip stitch here into the first stitch where you make the decrease join with slip stitch chain two one and two and now you take a slip uh, a stitch marker and put here at the row where you decrease okay so every time after you finish the row where you decrease put a stitch marker and now you continue to make two rows work it normally then again one row decrease at the beginning and at the end of the row as i show you and look for my mother this is the slip so one row decrease as i show you one two rows work it normally one row decrease until i almost finish look at the last part of the slave for my model uh, become too tight and uh, i make at the end uh, one row decrease and then one two three four rows work normally one decrease one two three four rows work normally one row decrease okay so you can alternate as you like it and also you can alternate the color as you like it for my model i make with the orange one two three four five six seven eight rows then one row with white one row with orange one row with white then i repeat okay but it's your choice uh how to want to alternate the colors and now look for my cardigan I also make one row decrease then one two rows normally one decrease two rows work normally and until I almost obtain the length because and here I make one row decrease one row work normally one decrease one row normally because uh, at this cardigan the slave it is too large so uh, at the end of the slave i make like that after you finish the slaves uh, i will show you how to continue and now after you finish the slave uh, the left side and the right side is almost ready now we need to make the space for the neckline uh, the number that you subtract when i explain how to calculate for the rectangle in my case for the jacket i need to make 10 centimeter and this 10 centimeter i divide by two and uh, i will make five centimeter for the left five centimeter for the right and now um, we begin for the left side we begin at the bottom at the corner and we finish at the top at the second corner at the rectangle okay so for the left side we begin at the bottom into the chain one space and we finish into the chain one space at the corner who it is here at the top for the left side for the right side we begin at the top 
also into the chain one space and we finish every row here also into the chain one space um, and now we begin for the left side and I measure five centimeter and I need to make one two three four rows okay so I begin for the left side and we begin at the bottom at the rectangle okay make a slip knot and insert the crochet here into the chain one space pull the loop chain two one two the chain two count as a stitch and now i will make double crochet and from post ripple exactly as the stitch are exactly as the stitch are for the first row I will work until I almost finish the row and then I will show you how to finish the row and how to begin the next row I almost finish the row and look the last stitch is make it here into the chain one space and now cut the yarn and make a slip knot. You will hide the yarn uh, when you finish the rows. And now the second row begin from the chain two at the beginning at the previous row why I make like that and I don't start uh, the work because I want the rows look the same okay so the second row and also the rows that you need to make it's always begin into the chain two at the beginning at the previous row make a slip knot and insert the crochet here into the chain 2 at the beginning of the previous row pull the loop chain 2 1 and 2 and now work exactly as you make the first row Okay, so in my case, this is the row number two. Okay, uh, make so many rows you need for the uh, left side as I tell you I need to make four then after I finish for the left side I will begin for the right side the same number of rows and also is worked into the same way but this time for the right side you begin into the chain two at the top at the jacket or the cardigan and you finish into the chain one space at the bottom 
at the rectangle. Okay? After you finish this part with uh, the same stage, I will show you how to continue. I finish the rows that I need for the neckline space. And now it's time to join the left side at the right side. We begin to join at the bottom until at the top. We use the same type of join that I show you when I make the slave. When I join two rectangles at the bottom until I begin the slave with so we join with back loop slip stitch but I will show you one more time how to make it okay. make a slip knot oh sorry insert the crochet here into the first stitch other row pull there okay and now here into the first stitch other left side into the chain two And also all there. Make two knots, one and two. And now we begin to join. Insert the crochet into the back loop for the next stitch at the right side. And then into the next stitch at the left side into the back loop. Join with slip stitch. Into the next stitch at the right side at the back loop. Into the next stitch at the left side into the back loop. Join with slip stitch. So exactly as I show you. Back loop, slip stitch. One moment until I will make two. One and two. Okay, continue until you reach it here at the top. Don't cut there because we continue to make. Uh, the front edge. I finish to join the left side at the right side and now we begin the edge. The edge is working all around until you reach it at the bottom then continue at the bottom and we fin begin from here and we finish here without turning uh the work and now for uh, in my case i change the crochet number the jacket it's uh, worked with the crochet number five for the edge i will use crochet number four for my cardigan as i tell you i use crochet number seven and for the edge i use crochet number six and now chain two one and two the chain two don't count and now here where you make the rows for the leg neckline into the left and into the right you have rows and for every row you make two stitch so double crochet we make two double crochet for every row one 
two. One, two. One, two. One. And two. Here, into that J1 space, you have one J1 space at the rectangle and one J1 space at, at the second rectangle. We make yarn over instead of crochet into the first J1 space at the rectangle and make one unfinished double crochet. Yarn over again and insert the crochet into the next uh, rectangle and also make one unfinished double crochet. Join them into one. Signs now. One moment, please. So, signs now. You make one from post triple one double crochet so from post triple double crochet 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 okay until you reach it here at the bottom at the rectangle when you reach it here at the J1 space you make the corner exactly as I show you when I make the rectangle. So work until you reach it at the chain one space, then make two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Then continue to make one. Okay, one. To make front post triple and double crochet until you reach it here where you also have rows at the bottom for every row but only at this row for every row also make two double crochet then continue until you reach it at the second corner and then continue until you reach it here Make exactly as I show you at this corner. Then continue to make two double crochet for every row. Then join with slip stitch into the first stitch because the chain two don't count. After you finish the first row at the edge, chain two and Begin to make front post triple and double crochet all around and make so many rows you need. Uh, when you make the row number two, look in my case, I count like that. Front post triple here will be a double crochet. Front post double crochet, front post double crochet, front post double crochet, front post double crochet. So for me, the first stitch at the second row is a double crochet. Then from post and I will continue. Okay? I hope uh, you understand and also I hope you like it. Uh, if you want to support me, please 
subscribe to my channel, just click the red button on the screen. And thank for watching and bye bye.